Greetings. My name is Mark and I'm going to give a simple tutorial on setting up a Adobe Illustrator document to use as a cut sheet for planner stickers. We can use this with our Cricut Air or other cutters. Specifically I'm using the Cricut Air right now. Our document setup is going to be eight and a half inches. We have our unit set to inches. We want to set up our artboard to eight and a half. So we'll just go with that. Eight and a half by eleven. Now we'll click our black arrow tool. We'll file place our actual sticker sheet which I've downloaded. It is called Lucy. The cursor is going to place the picture or the file in the upper left hand corner of wherever your cursor is currently at. So I'm going to try to put it right there. Okay. I'm going to nudge it over with my left arrow tool. Now I have that on, uh, let's make this background. Now I'm going to lock it. I'll create another layer. This will be for my drawing. I don't really need to name it, but if, just to be consistent. I have another layer which I've uh, done some previous work on. I'll show you that in one moment. Some of these shapes are rather complicated, so for the to keep it short, I went ahead and did those ahead of time. I'll just outline these boxes in this video. We're going to use the, the rectangle tool with no fill, uh, a black stroke, and a stroke of 0.1. The reason why we use a, such a small stroke is to ensure that we don't have overlaps that might cause us problems when we go to do the final um, outlining merging portion that I'll show you in a minute. I'm not describing it very well, but I'll, I'll be sure and cover everything you know. So I'm creating a box. I'm going to just round these corners slightly. The reason why we want to round corners for the Cricut is although it's it's actually a very good machine for cutting 90 degree corners if you give it just a slight rounded corner you're going to help the machine significantly because as it's approaching this line it doesn't have to completely stop and then change direction it can just roll on through that corner and you'll notice that it cuts um, it should cut much faster using this technique so now I'm going to hold down my alt key and you'll see I have a double arrow then I'm going to hold down shift it goes away, but uh, we're going to shift drag. Where'd it go? Oh, I need to zoom out. Okay. So, Alt, Shift, Drag. Ah, it's very fussy. And drop it. So now I have one there, and I have one there. So now I have two. I'm going to drag them both. I'm basically creating copies and dragging them into position at the same time. Now I can see I have a little border, which is not what I want. So I'll just select it, drag it in. And I'll do the same to this one, just to make sure. Scroll over. Just do a little cleanup. That one looks okay. This one's a little too far over. This is where having the very thin stroke ha helps a lot because now I can I can have a much better idea of where that knife from the Cricut is going to go across. Whereas if I had a thick stroke, I couldn't really tell where it's going to cut. So let's copy that one down. There you go. And box that one in. So we have different sizes. I'm just going to continue copying this box. Copy this over. Copy it down to this one. Okay, so far so good. Use this one. This particular shape is a little bit tricky. I'm going to come back to that in a second. I'll copy this one down since it's the right size. I'm 
I'm gonna nudge it down with my down arrow and then yeah, right there. Alt shift drag. Okay. Alright, so let's just hit control A, make sure we have still have all of our boxes. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't do this one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I'm gonna take this one. Just alt drag. Now this one you might want to have the um, corners very square, so I'm going to drag that back out because it's a frame. All right, uh, let's see if we can get this one closer. All right, okay, so let's go back to our heart. This is where the reason why I did these other two, let's see, ahead of time. Uh, let's see, this one. This one and this one. I'm going to cut them. I'm going to paste in place. Control Shift V. The reason why I did them ahead of time is because they're very tricky going around these curves. So I didn't want to waste too much time on the video with very delicate illustrator maneuvers. However, there is a basic problem with this one. This is where getting to know the pin tool in Illustrator is very worthwhile because it can drive you crazy. Just ask my sister. All right, so I'm just going to leave it as that for now. So with this heart, this heart is going to be a drama. Let's straighten the corners out. I'm not even really going to attempt Actually, yay, I don't have to, because it's actually intended that this sticker go all the way to get this box. So I don't have to trace that heart. That's a relief. Okay, so that's as close to the brown border that I can get. All right, I'm not going to trace the, what are those, cupcakes, because they take... That's uh, quite an endeavor. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to delete this layer two, which I had from an earlier uh, procedure. Okay, so I have drawing, I have background. I'm going to create actually another layer. This layer is going to be to hold, uh, intention is to hold a box that's exactly the same size as my artboard. I'm going to click transform. I want 8.5 by 11. All right, so there's 8.5. I'm just going to nudge it. So the intention of this rectangle is let's move it down below all these others. I'm going to paint it black. All right. Now we're going to select all of these boxes and our black rectangle. This is where the magic happens. Now the best way I can explain this is the black area represents our paper. This is our Avery single page label sheet. And the boxes represent our stickers that will be cut out of that single sheet. Now the reason why we need the black box is once we load, if we didn't have the black boxes and we attempted to, this is where the aha moment for me came in. Originally, I was trying to just cut out these boxes. And whenever I would load it into the design space, it would left justify and put these boxes in the corner. It's, you cannot turn off this paper saving mode. So the workaround was to basically flip my thinking from cutting out boxes out of a sheet to essentially cutting holes out of a whole sheet. So the black area is my whole sheet, the boxes are my holes, so I'm going to use the Pathfinder tool to minus front. There you go. Now all I need to do is to, ex I can go ahead and delete this background for now, I don't need this anymore. Yes, and I can delete layer 3, and all I have left is my sheet. I'll file, save as, 
SVG. I'll call it Lucy cut file. Some folks might might want to flip the colors here. They might want to have this outline is white and the boxes is black, but the Cricut doesn't care. Design space does not care. So at this point, I'll bring up the design space, import the image, and we'll, I'll switch my views here and get set up for that. I'll pause this video. All right, we are back. Now I have the design space canvas. I'm going to upload my image, upload image, browse. The file that we're going to upload is our SVG file, which I named it Lucy Cut File. As you can see, the Cricut software correctly sees my black frame with a bunch of white boxes cut out. I'm going to select it, insert image. From here, all we have left to do is click cut. We'll load up our mat. There is one slight observation that I'd like to point out. When you load your mat, uh, I would recommend what we're going to do is we're going to print our stickers first on 8.5 by 11 Avery sticker paper. It's just a one sheet sticker paper. Then you load that into your mat. This is going to take a little bit of trial and error because in my experience it's been offsetting by about a quarter inch. So even though I've loaded the paper correctly on the mat where I normally would, it starts cutting a little bit farther in. Initially, you'll have some struggles getting this to be perfect. Go ahead and let it cut a little nice little... It'll, it'll outline this whole page along this border. So that way you can use you can use that line that you'll see in the mat to align your sheet, realign your sheet. You can peel it off and then realign it. Actually load a new one in and then the next one that you cut should be perfectly fine. It's going to go on about its business cutting the outside and all of our little boxes. And that is how you cut custom sticker sheets from PDFs or JPEGs or any kind of files that you download off the internet. You can create your outlines in Illustrator. It's a very simple process. Just don't forget the black background minus front to extract all the um, cutouts. Load it in your Cricut design space and you're good to go. I hope this has been entertaining and educational for you. My name is Mark. Have a great day.